What's up guys, it's Adam here, the Urban Spidey, bringing you a review of the SH Figure Arts Black Widow from Black Widow. This look is very much inspired by the comics, uh, as you can see from the gold, and uh, I'm pretty excited to talk about this figure because it genuinely surprised me, and it might be one of my favorite figures that's come out so far this year. Before I get into the figure, I normally don't ever do this, but the box is, like, probably one of my favorite designs for a box ever. Uh, I really like the red. So now let's talk about the figure. This figure overall, really, really great. Um, I, I definitely enjoy the, um, the posability on it is just outstanding. And... I, I think the face print is the second best uh, Black Widow face print that we've gotten from SH Figure Arts. As you can see, it looks pretty close to Scarlett Johansson. I think that the most accurate um, facial scan we've got of her is the Infinity War Black Widow from SH Figure Arts. And this ponytail really surprised me, because I thought it was just going to be stuck on there, but no, it's actually on a ball peg, and you can move it around so it can look like it's being swept away in the wind, or uh, just get out of the way of whatever pose you're doing, and I think that's really great. Of course, these uh, baton hilts move around. They're on ball joints, just like the other Widows. Now let's get into the actual articulation. The head doesn't move very far up, which is pretty sad, because we have yet to have a Black Widow figure whose head can actually move up. As you can see, it's pretty uh, normal, standard articulation for an SH Figure Arts Black Widow, except the ab crunch is a lot more on this Black Widow than it is on e or any of the Black Widow releases from SH Figure Arts. The hips are probably my least favorite point of articulation. I wish they would make them drop down hips, but I at the same time I can see why they don't do it. And of course, this Widow has normal boots instead of high heels, so that's great. And you can see, she poses super easily, and I, I I barely had to do any work to get her into this pretty vanilla, but still very decent pose. You can you really see that face print there. So let's talk about accessories. In the box, she comes with two fists, a standard for SH Figure Arts. Then she also comes with some relaxed hands, or just, like, open hands. And then some of my favorite hands, the splayed open hands, which I think any figure that does any sort of dynamic poses should come with, because you can get them to do crazy stuff like handstands. And, of course, she comes with her two batons and two hands to hold the batons. And they're pretty different uh, than the batons we've gotten for the Endgame and uh, for all of the Black Widows for that case. And it also comes with one sickle? Uh, w whatever this weapon is, it looks like some sort of claw. Oh, we still have yet to see the movie. And of course, she comes with her dual pistols and trigger fingers, which... These trigger fingers aren't uh, practicing trigger discipline uh, like most of the other SH Figure Arts figures are. And now for one of the newer accessories is the Widow Sting effect. And I think it's pretty good. Uh, all it is is just a clear blue piece of plastic attached to two fists. You can see it works pretty well unless you're like shooting it from the side because then you can see the gap between the effect and the gauntlet on the wrist. 
Now let's get into comparisons. Obviously, here she is compared to the other Black Widows with orange hair. And here she is with Taskmaster and Infinity War Black Widow. And here she is with Iron Man Mark 85 and Endgame Captain America. Overall, I think she is probably the best Black Widow figure on the market right now. She looks extremely great uh, fighting Taskmaster, as you can see here. And she poses incredibly well. Like, it, almost no effort goes into posing, and she looks great. Again, the face print is great, and uh, overall, it's just a great figure and well worth the price. And that's about it for the review. So, if you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.